let's explore the physics of everyone's least favorite exercise, which is the push-up. Um, it turns out that we can completely understand how we're able to lift ourselves up using the physics of statics, in other words, of torques. So let's suppose that we have a floor right here, right? And there's a person, they have a little booty, and they have a head, right? Um, and then they have an arm and a hand, right? And they're doing a little push-up, and there they are. Okay, and let's give them some luxurious, glorious hair over here. Okay, and let's suppose that there are some forces acting on this woman doing a push-up, okay? First of all, obviously, there is weight, right? She experiences a weight. But also, as she pushes against this floor, she's gonna experience a normal force that pushes back on her, right? This is just a Newton's third law force pair. If she pushes on the ground, the ground pushes back on her. And there's also gonna be a normal force here holding her up, okay? But if she's doing a push-up, the axis of rotation is right here, which means the R for this torque, remember torque is equal to F R sine theta. The R for this normal force is zero. So there's gonna be no torque here around the axis of rotation, right? When she's doing this push-up, she's rotating, essentially rotating around that point right there. Okay, which means we can say that the sum of torques in this case is the torque of this normal force, right? And remember, this normal force makes her wanna rotate counterclockwise. That means that's a positive torque. And this weight makes her wanna rotate clockwise, which is a negative torque, right? But if she's gonna actually do this push-up, right? So the question is here, what is the force that she needs to be pushing on the ground at in order to get her to rise, right? So in order to get her to rise, this torque here, right, about this axis of rotation must be greater than the torque due to the weight around this axis of rotation, right? So in other words, the torque of the normal force must minus the torque of the weight must be greater than zero, right? This has to be a little bit bigger than this. Okay, so let's look at this, right? Um, you know, for a typical, typical person, right, the distance to their center of mass, which is where the weight is applied, is about uh, 0.5 meters, right? Uh, sorry, 0.9 meters. Right? And the, the distance to her arms uh, is gonna be roughly 1.5 meters. Okay? So in other words, that means that normal force times Rn, right, the distance from the axis of rotation to the normal force, times sine theta, minus the weight times the rate, uh, the R of the weight, which is the distance from the axis of rotation to the weight, times sine theta, must be greater than zero, right? Now, totally satisfying thing that you can do right now to make this look a little bit more simple is to know that this is a right angle and this is a right angle, which means these are sine of 90s, sine of 90s we know are just one, right? So these disappear, right? Which means that N times Rn minus W times Rw must be greater than zero in order for her to do a push-up, okay? But this means that N, Rn must be greater, I'm just gonna add this to the other side, must be greater than W times RW, right? Which means that in order for her to be able to do this push-up, N must be greater than the weight times RW divided by Rn, right? Okay, now let's just put in our values. The normal force, right? In other words, the force with which she needs to push on the ground 
must be mg, right? Weight is just mg, rw over rn. We know that her mass is, let's say, approximately 50 kilograms, right? It's an average mass for, for someone doing a push-up. Okay, so we have this times 50, right? G is 9.8. Our W is the distance from the weight, in other words, the distance from the center of mass to the axis of rotation, that's 0.9, divided by Rn, the distance to where her hands are applying, so that's about 1.5 meters. All right, that means in order for her to do a push-up, she needs to apply about 294 newtons to the ground right, or greater in order for her to have an angular acceleration this way and do this, this push-up. All right, that's cool. So, very simple. We took what we know about statics, about torques, right, namely that if you're in equilibrium, the summation of torques must equal zero, but if you want to go out of that equilibrium, it has to be just greater than zero, right, so for her to do this push-up, the torque of the normal force minus the torque of the weight must be greater than zero, right? And go through the motions, plug and chug, and we know exactly what force she needs to push on the ground in order to do to successfully do a push-up.